ha, ha. Hey, VC. Mark over here at Twanger's Turntable. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a get up going on here, but there's a reason for that. So bear with me. There's a guy by the name of Nathan. His channel is Metal Down Under. And he's doing a contest. And his contest in, is celebrating his 400 subscribers. Although he's well beyond that at the time of me making this video. I think he's probably in the mid 400s. Um, I'll click on his, his homepage here. Here's his channel. There it is. Metal Down Under. So you can see that. So essentially... The reason I'm wearing this is his contest, what it entails, is that you have to subscribe, number one. So I have done that. I just found him out probably just last week. I've been home a lot this last week, sick as a dog. Um, so I've been doing some binge watching YouTube videos and whatnot. And this is a gentleman I came across in the process. Yeah, I don't even, it's like 428 subs he's got. So the contest, essentially, I'll read the details here so all will know what is happening here. This could be a challenge. See if I can put my glasses on. <laughs> uh, this is nuts. There we go. So you must be subscribed to his channel, which I have. Leave your answer in the contest comments. One entry will get you one entry in his draw if you leave a comment. If you make a video such as this, you get two entries. Wear an oddity in your video. Three entries in the draw. Now you get it. See, this is my oddity. The grandkids will love this. <laughs> I've scared the shit out of them with this many times. They love it though. And the last here is. If you make a video entry, please leave a comment on this video telling me you have made an entry. So I will be doing that. Now, what we have to do or what I have to do is what bands can you not get into no matter how hard you have tried? So let me back up a second. So if you've not gone over to Nathan's channel, uh, Metal Down Under, go over there, subscribe to his channel, like. Uh, obviously metal down under he's a headbanger. So, you know, you, you know what you're getting into if you go visit his, his channel. So make sure you subscribe if you do so and enter a video to his contest. I think it goes on until the end of December. Uh, yes. In New Zealand time on the 26th of December, 12 AM. So I think there are 24 hours ahead or thereabouts. I'm in Canada. So anywhere here in North America, depending on your time zone, it's only a few hours difference. Um, so what band can you not get into no matter how hard you have tried? Well, I've probably gone on record. I've said this several times, probably Queensryche, even back in the day. I just, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. It just doesn't, doesn't move the meter for me at all. Um, I don't know if it's, uh, I never really was into videos all that much. So during the video error, I don't even know if they made videos to, to, uh, to, uh, accompany their music. But anytime I heard the music, I don't know if it's Jeff Tate or whatever, which I, I don't understand because I, I like Rob Halford, you know, that that uh, that register, that high register of uh, Judas Priest and and others of the like. But Queensryche, uh -uh, can't do it. I've tried many times. Just do not like them. Can't stand them. Uh, next up, what would it be? What bands did you used to love but can't get, can't be... You can't be bothered with now. Now, he used the, the example of Metallica. I still like Metallica. I've always liked Metallica. I still like them. Uh, obviously, some of their earlier stuff is much more preferable to me. This thing is going to drive me nuts before I'm done. But I still like Metallica. I mean, I, I, I respect their place in the metal community, and I still enjoy a lot of their, even their hardwired self-destruct. I like that. The last one I actually bought was the one prior to that. Uh, death magnetic on vinyl. I haven't got the hardwired one yet. So, but if I was going to pick one, um, it's not even that I can't stand them anymore. I just, 
I, I alluded to it in, in my previous video. It's probably, uh, it may be blasphemous, an, another one, but probably Kiss. I just don't have time for Kiss. Um, loved them as a kid. Uh, it was probably one of my favorite bands as a kid, actually, and, and due to my older brother, who was a big Kiss fan, had a few of their albums. Um, but yeah, essentially anything they've done since probably Creatures of Night, I don't even have time. I just, I've, I've heard bits here and there, animalized, made in the shade, all that stuff, but no, doesn't do it. Um, I'll use that as the, the, the most... The most, the biggest one for me would probably be Kiss because I, I did. I used to really love the Kiss and, you know, but yeah, that'd be the one. There are others um, that I just, uh, in the, in the new millennial there, dude, I mean, my son was still at home and I was listening to a lot of the new metal and stuff like that. So, you know, Limb Biscuit and whatnot. But yeah, I don't really have much time for that. Even bands I used to really like, which again, I still appreciate their place in music and history. But bands like Nirvana or whatnot, I just, meh. you know, even Pearl Jam to an extent, after their first couple of albums, it was, they just kind of faded away for me. So stuff like that. Next up, see if I can get my glasses to work for me. Recommend me some female fronted or female metal bands to check out. Well, that's a tough one. Um... I don't know of any that you probably haven't already heard, Nathan. I don't think, anyway. I mean, I'm, you're quite familiar with all the stuff. I'll I'll just throw out a couple that aren't even metal, maybe maybe rock and hard rock here from Canada. But even these guys are going back to my young teens and young and my youth. That uh, you know, I'm sure you've heard of them by now. But for sure, Derby Mills and, and Headpins, you know, um, representing the North here, Canada. That one. And then maybe lesser known, probably more known for their later stuff, but Toronto, this is their debut, Looking for Trouble. Uh, even head on and get it on credit, I like. Um, the stuff after that, Girls' Night Out and whatnot, no time for that. There is a newer band. I don't know. I don't think they're really metal. They're more of uh, uh, alternative rock, straightforward rock, uh, Nightcrawler. You know, there's a female vocalist in that band. Um I've got them. I don't have the vinyl, but I do have them on my my uh, Apple Music playlist. Um, and this is this is the album cover. Oh man, can't really see that. There we go. I'll play a little sample if I can. Uh, just a sample of that. Very, rel I think the, their debut is only like 2016 or 18. Fairly recent, so I don't know much about them. I would like to get this vinyl, their debut for sure, because I've, I've got it on my iTunes. I, I kind of like it. I dig it. And these guys are more of a, they're not metal, so I'm just going to throw them in here as well because I dig them once in a while. They're kind of that electronic, um, probably even pop electronic pop dance almost industrial sound but they're called polika and this is i think from their uh 2000 and oh god i don't even know it might even be 2004 it's quite a while ago it's their ep called baby blue Hit my camera. That's it. I mean, that's really all I can. I, I, there's nothing that I would listen to that you, I'm sure you haven't already heard. Uh, reality is, I don't listen to a whole lot of modern metal of, of much sort, uh, let alone female vocalists. Um, the last thing that Nathan wanted us to do, so those are my entries in that regard. What was the last thing? Hard to see what all this get up on. What album would you love to find under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning? Well, I've, I think I've said it before, but 
probably born again sabbath you know i wish they'd redo that one re reissue that on vinyl i've had it on every other format i've never had it on vinyl but certainly would like to so make it simple probably be that one oh, if if i could as well uh the very early version of motley crew too fast for love on the electra leather records i should say uh before they even the first version after they signed on the Electra, at least here in Canada, had the tune on it, Stick to Your Guns. Now they've reissued that vinyl many times, but they don't include that tune for whatever reason. Um, so if I could get that under my Christmas tree, that'd be right up there as well. But that's about it. So if you haven't gone over to Nathan's channel, Metal Down Under, go check them out, subscribe, and uh, hit the like. And uh, now I can take this off and be done with this get up whoo sweating under there <laughs> i'll sweat out my cold but that's it everybody um hope you enjoyed it good luck to everybody in the contest uh if i win great uh that's actually a record i don't have and it sounds like something that would be right up my alley um i don't i don't recall if that band was from that, were they from New Zealand? I mean, the only band I think I know of from New Zealand would probably be Split Ends and maybe that young female artist, Lord. Um, I don't know that many artists from New Zealand. Funny enough, there's another channel I follow there in New Zealand, Rooney's. Uh, and is it not Andy Rooney's? Should I forget the name? He's a drummer anyway, a drum instructor. Good content. Anyway, I digress. Um, thanks for accepting my entry, Nathan. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, look forward to seeing more of your videos in the future. And like I say, good luck, everybody. We'll see you next time here at uh, Twanger's Turntable. Cheers.